Hi friends, welcome to HDA Lectures. Let us continue with CMA Economics. In this lecture, we are going to deal with changes in demand and changes in quantity demanded and elasticity of demand. First one, changes in demand. There are difference in changes in demand and changes in quantity demanded. I have said that there are many determinants of demand price of a commodity, price of related goods like substitute and complementary goods, income of the consumer, taste and preference of the consumer, these all are determinants of demand as we have already discussed in the previous class. Changes in demand and changes in quantity demand. It states that when you change the price, that means the first determinant, price of the commodity, when you change the price, there is a change in quantity demanded of it. When there is a change in price, when other things being constant, we can say that that is a change in quantity demanded, or we can say that it is an extension or contraction of demand. At the same time, when there is change in determinants other than price, the income of the consumer, taste and preference of the consumer, price of substitute goods or complementary goods then we can say that it is a change in demand and that is stated as increase or decrease in demand. There is one change in, uh, changes in demand and changes in quantity demand. So let us go to the extension and contraction of demand. What is extension of contraction of demand? When there is a change in price that leads to change in quantity demand, it is known as change in quantity demand or extension or contraction of demand. So extension and contraction of demand happens when there is a change in price. See, you can see here, when all the other things remains constant, if there is a change in price, that leads to change in demand. We can say that it's called extension and contraction of demand. So price is a sole determinant in extension and contraction of demand. Here, where is the extension happens? this point this is extension and this is contraction C. E. why it is a extension because there is extension of quantity demand from m to m1 so there is extension of quantity demand so we say that it is an extension or expansion of demand so when extension happens when there is decrease in price and increase in quantity demand we can say that it is an extension price decrease and a quantity increase we can say that it is extension price increase quantity decrease we say that it is contraction see here when price increases quantity demand decreases from m2 m2 from m to M2, then it is a contraction of demand. There is contraction in quantity demand. This is contraction. That is what it is stated in the above paragraph. Now, increase and decrease in demand. Increase and decrease in demand is a change in demand, is a change in demand. Now, when change in demand or increase or decrease in demand happens. In extension and contraction we state that when all the other things being constant, then when there is a change in price. Here it is opposite to that, when the price is constant, if there is a change in other determinants, that leads to change in demand. We can say that it is increase and decrease in demand. Suppose my income, why my income increased will i buy more of a commodity yes I'll buy more of commodity so even the even if the price is constant you will demand more of a commodity right you will demand more of a commodity because there is change in other determinants in our example it is income there is an increase in income so even if the constant price is still existing in the market you will demand more of quantity demand you will shift from m2 M1. Here there is a shift in demand curve. This is the difference between increase and decrease in demand in uh, and contraction and extension of demand. In extension and contraction of demand, there is no more than one 
demand curve. There is only one demand curve and each M1, M and M2 are lying in the same demand curve. Right? So there is a movement along the demand curve. But in case of increase or decrease in demand, there is shift in demand. There is shift in demand. The point has been uh, changed. Is M is in different demand curve, M1 is in different demand curve and M2 is in different demand curve. So, when there is an increase or decrease in demand, there will be shift in demand curve. When it is favorable, we can say that there is an increase in demand curve or there is a rightward shift. There is a rightward shift when it is favorable. When it is unfavorable, there is a leftward shift. When it is unfavorable, there is a leftward shift. When income decreases, you will demand very less. You will demand M2 only, not M. Because your income has been reduced, but there is no change in price. So there is a uh, shift in demand curve. This is what increase and decrease in demand. Now, elasticity of demand. What is elasticity of demand? Elasticity of demand is a degree of responsiveness. That means, in law of demand, we just say the movement, the direction. We just say the direction. Law of demand, we say that when price increases, quantity demanded decreases, and vice versa, and vice versa. But in elasticity of demand, what we do is that we need a value, we need a value to determine the moment. We know that law of demand stays in inverse relationship, but here we want to know how much the property, how much the de demand has been changed due to change in price or any other determinants. This is what the elasticity says. Elasticity shows the degree of responsiveness, how much it has been responded due to change in price or any other determinants. That is what the elasticity of demand is. Elasticity of demand means response in demand. Explains the change in demand due to change in determinants of demand. See, that is what elasticity of demand is. Now, there are three types of elasticity of demand. First one, price elasticity. Second one, income elasticity. And third one, gross elasticity. We have already, uh, previous in previous lecture, we have gone through types of demand, types of demand. The same way, there we have studied price demand, income demand and gross demand. Here we are using the same concept with the elasticity. There are three types of elasticity of demand, price elasticity, income elasticity and gross elasticity. What is price elasticity? Price elasticity means the relationship between price and quantity demand. It shows the relationship between proportionate change in demand due and proportionate change in price. That means when there is a change in price, how much percentage the demand changes? Proportionate change in quantity demanded by proportionate change in price. We can say that when there is a 10 percentage change in quantity demanded and 5 percent change in price we can say that elasticity is equal to 2 so we get a value here elasticity represents in a value for this proportionate change in quantity demanded by proportionate change in price can be expressed as elasticity is equal to bq by dp into b by q now how many types of price elasticities are there there are five types of price elasticity there are five types of price elasticity let's check this perfectly elastic demand perfectly elastic demand states that when there is a minute change in price the demand will change infinitely it is perfectly elastic this product is perfectly elastic because it is price sensitive it is very much price sensitive when there is a minute change, you can see that there is no change in price, right? Here, the intention, the uh, assumption is that there is only a small change, maybe 0 0.0001 change. But that change will cause you big change in the quantity demanded. 
that is what elasticity perfectly elastic demand means in a perfectly elastic demand what happens is that it will be parallel to it will be parallel to x axis that is perfectly elastic demand and uh, elasticity will be infinity and second case in elastic demand in elastic demand in elastic demand means whatever may be the change in price we will buy the fixed commodity cheap only even if the price increase or decrease we will buy only m quantity this is generally necessary goods or basic needs goods those goods you will not buy more only what you need even if the price is high you will need basic needs you will have to buy basic products and even if the price is low you will not buy much of it you will go for another products so those products which is not responding against the change in price those products are known as perfectly uh, those products will have perfectly inelastic demand that means elasticity is zero there is no elasticity for that product elasticity is equal to zero relatively elastic demand what is relatively elastic demand relatively elastic demand says that the product is elastic not perfectly elastic but elastic that means what is the equation for elasticity elasticity is equal to change in quantity demanded by uh, percentage change in quantity demanded by percentage change in price percentage change in price right so when there is 10 percentage change in quantity demanded due to change in 5 percentage of price change when there is a increase in five price by 5 percentage you will change your quantity demanded more than the change in price here there is only 5 percentage increase in price but you will reduce your consumption by 10 percentage so you can say that this product is elastic it is elastic it is very much it is price sensitive not as perfectly elastic but it is elastic because when there is a change in price quantity demanded has responded much higher than the change in price so we can say that it is it is elastic demand we can say that it is elastic demand the uh, just on one if the proportionate change in demand is more than the proportionate change in price it is said to be relatively elastic demand this is a graph where you can understand there is a small change there is a small decrease in price same example let's see it is 5 percentage 5 percentage there is a big increase in quantity demanded 10 percentage this is what relatively elastic demand is quantity demanded changes much more than price now next one relatively elastic demand relatively elastic demand says that the same example work elasticity very elasticity percentage change in quantity demanded percentage change in quantity demanded is 5 percentage but price has changed by 10 percentage that is there is a decrease in price by 10 percentage but you only increased the quantity demanded by 5 percentage 10 percentage has been decreased in price but you are buying only 5 percentage more in quantity in this case elasticity is less than 1 that is 0.5 This case elasticity is less than one. This point five. So uh, this is a uh, relatively inelastic demand. If the proportionate change in demand is less than the proportionate change in price, it is said to be relatively inelastic demand. You can see there is a big change in price. That is ten percent each. But there is only small change in quantity demanded. See, is five percent each. this is what the relatively elastic demand states here you can see that there is a different in graph also the shape of graph the the shape of demand curve is flatter right it is much flatter here 
the demand curve is steep steeper like a ladder right it is a like a ladder that is a graph that should also be kept in mind now unitary elastic demand unitary elastic demand states that elasticity of demand when there is a change in price by 10 percentage quantity demanded also changes in the same proportion then we can say that elasticity is equal to 1 it is, this is known as unitary elastic you can see here when there is a change in price by decrease in price by 10 percentage you can see the same distance in difference in quantity demanded also then you can say that it is a unitary elastic demand something you have to imply if the proportionate change in demand is equal to proportionate change in price it is said to be unitary elastic demand and this graph and this graph is known as rectangular hyperbola rectangular hyperbola you can see and this is a rectangular hyperbola curve why it is called as rectangular hyperbola means wherever you have pointed this product you will get a rectangle shape area that is why it is a rectangular hyperbola so this graph unitary elastic demand graph is also known as rectangular hyperbola so with this we have uh, completed the five unitary elastic demand by unitary elastic and price elasticity of demand price elasticity of demand are divided into five first one perfectly elastic that means elasticity is infinity second one perfectly inelastic that means there is no elasticity it is zero relatively elastic that is elasticity is more than one and next one relatively inelastic that means elasticity is less than one unitary elastic here please strike this this is wrong elasticity price elasticity is equal to one remove this zero and type it as one so thank you thanks for watching